Okay, so as we all know, with the new season comes new changes, and season two is no exception to that. Not only with the introduction of Romacho, who is definitely going to shake up the meta, we have a ton of other meta changes that have already been teased. But before we get into it, if you enjoyed today's video or finding this information helpful, hit that like button and let's go ahead and get right into the video. If you didn't happen to catch the last Overwatch League, nearly every single team was running the same exact comp. That comp consisted of Winston, Sojourn, Reaper, Kiriko, and Lucio. Because of Sojourn's ability to instantly get a pick, it made Winston very viable to just dive the backline. And if Winston got into any trouble, both the Kiriko and the Lucio could both assist him. And then Reaper was there to simply just deal with the other Winston. It was a really stale and boring meta that a lot of people didn't really like. I'm sure this isn't really a meta that Blizzard themselves wants either. And it appears that they've already addressed this with yesterday's blog post. It reads both metrics and player feedbacks have shown that Sojourn is dominating the highest tiers of competitor ranks while remaining a challenge for players without the same mechanical skills. In all honesty, this seems like common sense to me. If a hero requires some decent amount of skill at the lower tiers, they're normally go not going to have that skill in order to highlight how effective that hero actually is. Whereas in the higher skill lobbies, of course, they're going to already have that skill and they're going to make her look even better. So it's really shocking to me that I actually took them this long to do something about her. It continues to address the high skill feedback. We'll be focusing on the lethality of her railgun at distance for season two, encouraging players to make use of Sojourn's high mobility to close the distance for more devastating right clicks. Now, from the way that it reads, it appears that they're alluding to that they're going to be adding a damage fall off for her railgun. Meaning that if you want to just get that one tab right click, you're going to have to be within a certain distance in order to do that. Personally, for me, I don't really feel like this is an effective change. In many cases, while you're already up close in a fight, you can just left click them until you have them low enough and then railgun them. And it doesn't even need to be fully charged in order for that to happen. In my opinion, I think they still need to make her railgun charge slower. I understand why the left click gives it as much value as it does because her left click is projectile, but at the same time, it still feels too easy to get a lot of charge. And now onto the biggest meta shift that it looks like is going to happen. It reads Doomfist is receiving significant changes that better support his role on the team's front line, while still maintaining the playstyle core to his hero identity. You can also expect adjustments for Ana, Bastion, Junker Queen, Kiriko, Mercy, and Symmetra. I'm also fairly certain that Tracer is supposed to be receiving adjustment as well as she does have the bug currently. Instead of disabling her from the game or fixing the bug immediately, it appears that they're going to be saving that for the season two. And allegedly they were also supposed to be introducing changes to Tracer as well. So that seems like eight different heroes are going to be getting some sort of adjustment. Add that to the fact that we're getting a whole new hero Ramacha, that's nine new variables to shake up the meta. If I had to make some guesses on what's going to happen to each of these heroes, Sodoran is obviously getting a nerf. Alongside that, I believe that Kiriko is going to receive another nerf as well. For Ana, I think she's going to stay the same. I think they're going to adjust something down on her and adjust something up on her. If anything, she's only going to receive a slight nerf. Ana's already a top tier healer. With the greater presence of Roadhog now, Ana is being seeing a lot more play since of how well she counters him. And last thing on to everyone else, I believe Bastion, Junker Queen, Mercy, and Symmetra are all going to be receiving buffs. Junker Queen is quite obvious seeing that she is the season's mythic skin. And not only that, she's pretty bad. Bastion currently, the way he just fits into the meta, he just feels very clunky and very easy to counter. Mercy is a fan favorite, but sadly where she's at now, she's really not that strong. I think they'll likely change something with maybe the cooldown on her res and give her the ability to heal more effectively. I'm not really sure what they're going to do with Symmetra because she's at that area where either you're really good with her or really bad with her. So it'll be interesting to see what they're going to do to her. The last few new things to expect are going to be the maps. Alongside the addition of the new Shambhali Monastery map, which is going to be a payload map by the way, you can also expect the return of the fan favorite Rialto and Blizzard World. It says that some rides may not be available due to weather conditions, so I'm guessing that means that they've made some changes to the map. So it looks like if their goal was to make sure that Season 2 felt different than Season 1, that they definitely have accomplished that. Overall, I'm incredibly hyped for Season 2 and all the new changes. But let me know down below what changes you hope come or what changes you're excited for. If you enjoyed today's video or found any of the information helpful, hit that like button. And if you want to come back to see more Overwatch content, don't forget to smash that sub button and turn on post notifications. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.